Hello and welcome friends. Now the fourth lecture in solving the same problem of marginal costing, basics of marginal costing we are discussing. Uh, this is the existing situation. This calculation we made in the first lecture of this series of 7 to 8 lectures. And now this is the fourth situation. In this if variable cost decreases by rupee 1 because of the effect of external forces if the variable cost decreases by rupee 1 now let us check what will be the effect of this decrease of rupee 1 in variable cost on various things first of all selling price that will not change because it is determined by us that means it changes due to internal forces as a result of our decision making but variable cost or fixed cost increases or decreases due to the effects of external forces which are uncontrollable for us generally. So the selling price will remain rupees 10 per unit but the variable cost or revised variable cost will be now rupees 6 minus decrease means minus rupee 1 so now it will be rupees 5 per unit yes and the selling price remains the same so you can judge the effects the first effect will be on contribution per unit existing selling price 10 as it remained the same minus revised or decreased variable cost of 5 so the contribution comes to rupees 5 per unit which is rupees 4 in the existing situation so increase a considerable increase against 4 increase of rupee 1 that means the contribution has increased by 25 percent that will directly create effect or as a positive effect on PV ratio PV ratio will be contribution upon sales revenue that will be now 5 by 10 0.5 or 50 percent a huge increase the same rate 25 percent increase because from 40 percent it has increased to 50 percent the margin of 10 percent increase of 10 percent comes to 25 percent of the original rate of 40 percent now let us check what is the effect on DEP break even sales quantity fixed cost upon contribution per unit fixed cost will is rupees 30,000 there will be no change in fixed cost because of change in variable cost both are different things so break even sales quantity comes to 6,000 units which is under the existing situation 7,500 units see from 7,500 to 6000 decrease of 1500 units 20 percent decrease so if we take the sales activity as a journey the landmark or milestone of BEP will reach at earlier stage yes and break even sales value will be now 6000 units multiplied by our selling price of rupees unchanged selling price of rupees 10 so it will be merely 60,000 rupees. So BP in both the terms has decreased. That is very good for the financial health of the company because now the loss making part of sales has decreased. The company will make profit at earlier stage. If total sales of 10,000 units per period is maintained, now the profit giving sales quantity will be 4000 units that we are going to calculate in the name of margin of safety margin of safety equals to sales or actual sales minus break even sales margin of safety quantity sales 10000 minus break even point or sales required to break even 6000 so it comes to 4000 units which is under the existing situation 2500 units so considerable increase that's good sales rather profit giving sales has increased margin of safety value or revenue from 
from 1 lakh rupees rather i will not prefer this formula i will prefer to multiply this by selling price 40000 from 25000 you rupees now the margin of safety has increased to 40000 rupees yes very good for the company or firm now number 7 sales required to earn profit of rupees 5000 Uh, if you don't belong to India, you can consider any currency, say dollar, pound, ruble, yuan, euro or any other currency. The name of the currency is not important. Please. The formula of required sales. My favorite formula in the entire chapter. Fixed cost plus profit. If loss is there, then we can write the numerical value of loss as negative amount and contribution per unit this is amount of finding quantity of required sales fixed cost unchanged 30,000 plus desired profit 5,000 upon 5 that means all these are rupees rupees 35,000 divided by rupees 5 per unit rupees 5 per unit so it will be 7,000 units I am sorry, I should write the comment here. 7000 units. At present, or under the existing situation, the sales required to earn profit of rupees 5000 is 8750 units. Or, rupees 70,000. Uh, rupees 87,500. Now it is 70,000 if the variable cost decreases by rupee 1 per unit. So it has considerably decreased. Both the required sales, sales required to reach the break even point as well as sales required to earn profit of rupees 5000, both have decreased. Mind well, we are writing the comments as an say as a result on this individual thing only but this can be taken as principle every time the effect of this type of situation will be the same in the entire world so we are actually say proving the principles through our numerical examples these are the proofs and the last thing <coughs> profit on selling 10,000 units which is our existing sales we are going to use same formula but we abolish the word required whenever we calculate any of these three through, three through this formula so sales equals to fixed cost plus profit upon contribution per unit Sales is 10,000 units, fixed cost 30,000 rupees, profit is to be found and contribution is 5. The cross multiplication is 50,000 rupees equals to 30,000 plus profit. So the change of subject says that profit at present on selling 10,000 units is rupees 20,000. Yes, what is the say reconciliation of 20,000? Our margin of safety is 4,000 units and our contribution per unit is rupees 5. Each and every unit of margin of safety contributes to the profit at the rate of rupees 5, that is our rate of contribution per unit. Because whenever we reach the break even sales, now from the contribution on the sales beyond break even sales we need not write off or recover any fixed cost because whatever amount of fixed cost has already been written off or recovered against the contribution earned from the break even sales that's it thank you very much